Hey everyone, today we're going to be making a 2 times rebirth game pass. Now in the last video we made 2 times coins, it's going to be very similar the way this works, just uh, double rebirths instead. So to get started we're going to go under uh, game passes and click create a pass and this will be 2 times rebirths. I'm going to then uh, create this pass and as like last time we have to click on it, go to sales item for sale and I'm going to make this one now two times rebirth is a bit more powerful I would say than two times coins so I might make this one 75 robux these are all relatively cheap for game passes uh, it's just for the sake of the video really I'm not releasing this game so I don't need them expensive or cheap I don't need them a good price so I'll just make them whatever and then we're going to hit save changes and we can then go back to associated items under our uh, passes uh, and here they both are now we're going to copy this ID a bit later when we've made the script but in the meantime let's head into our game and we'll make the scripts okay so here we are now to make this it's going to be very similar first of all we're going to make the GUI to buy this so let's open up our game pass shop make the background visible and uh, open our scrolling frame we're going to duplicate the double coins and of course we're going to rename this to double rebirths. Open this up now. Once again these images of course you change to be the image of your game pass. But because my game passes don't have any images I'm not going to worry about that. I'm going to make the name of this uh, two times rebirths. And I will make the price. I think we set it to 75 robux. And the description. With this game pass you will receive a permanent two times uh, rebirths boost. Perfect. Now under the local game pass handler, we're going to copy this local coin game pass ID, paste that in, and this will be local rebirth game pass ID. And then I'm going to copy the asset ID of the uh, rebirth button. So, and then I'm going to paste that in here. And there we go. Now we have our coin game pass ID and our rebirth, rebirth, sorry, game pass ID. Now let's make the rebirth game pass button variable. Under this local coins game pass button, we're going to create local rebirths game pass button, which will be equal to background dot scrolling frame dot double rebirths dot purchase dot text button. And then we'll copy this entire mouse button one click colon connect function, paste it down here again. But rather than coins game pass button, this will be rebirth game pass button. Well, the rest of the code will be the exact same, except rather than coins game pass ID, we're going to be path passing in the rebirth game pass ID in uh, the user owns game pass async and prompt game pass purchase as well. You will now see if we hit test and play. Uh, we will already own the game pass unless you want a group you won't own it you'll have to buy it yourself but if I click this it's saying that this one's already owned um, we do own both of them but it's saying the top one's already owned so why is that well let's open up our script and it will be a really simple reason it is because we're setting the coins game pass button text to already owned and not the rebirth game pass button so let's just change that test it again and because I made both of these game passes on my personal account and not uh, via a group. In fact, I've just realized I've got that wrong. I've made this as a group project as it is. So if this is a group project, you're making a group game pass, you will still own it. I didn't know that. That must be something new. Um, before, I'm pretty sure you never used to own game passes that you made on a group. But I guess if you own the group, you own the game pass. That's, that must be something new. I wasn't aware of that until just now. So forget what I was just saying about if you uh, make this on a game group game, you'll have to buy the game pass. Apparently you don't. I didn't know that until just now, so sorry about that. So if we now hit two times rebirth, you'll see it already owned. If we hit two times coins, already owned. So we can now stop this script and let's make it so we actually get two times rebirths. So if we go under server script service under our uh, exchange coins, you'll see what we've done is check to see if the user owns the game pass if they have, we've just given them the coins again. We did that in the last episode. It's going to work very similarly. So let's go under um, our events script. And under the rebirth, what we want to do is, it's going to be slightly bit more advanced, but not particularly. We're going to go to where we are adding our value and our gems. Do all of that. 
and of course if we're getting double rebirths we're going to want double gems you might not want to you might want to make it so double gems is its own game pass uh, but I'm going to do gems and rebirths in one so once we've given uh, the gems and the rebirths we'll say if um, we need to first of all actually before this if sorry at the top add a local market place service equals game colon get service marketplace service and then we need to say down here if marketplace service colon user owns game pass a sync play, passing a player dot user id and the game pass id which is if we go back under the game pass handler this is the game pass id so if they own that then we just want to give them it all again now if you only want to give them the rebirth just forget this gems line if you want to give them the gems line in a separate rebirth uh, just put this gems in its own user owns game pass sync statement and that is it now if we hit test and play we will be able to test this because we own the game pass let's uh, first of all we need to rebirth so if we hit rebirth rebirth in 1.1k I'm just going to cheat a bit give myself um, uh, coins so I'm going to give myself 10,000 coins oh it's points isn't it it doesn't go by coins sorry um, that's <laughs> that's just me being silly uh, so I'm going to first of all make my stamina 1,500 just so I can actually have enough points to rebirth I'll give myself like 1,200 uh, points now I can click to rebirth you'll see I should get well we're gonna get one rebirth uh, which means we get what 10 gems was it 100 gems? I can't remember. But we should get two rebirths and 200 gems or 20, whatever it is. So rebirth, we get two rebirths. I think we got 10 gems. So let me make sure. I can't remember how many gems we give them per rebirth. It might be five, in which case it works. So I'll just have a little look under the events script. Uh, gems, gems per rebirth is five. Yes, so that does work. Perfect. Now I'm just going to test this with an more rebirths because we've got multiple rebirth buttons. I want to make sure it works for all of them. So I'm going to try it with the rebirth 5. So I'm just going to give myself 20,000 points and 20,000 stamina. I'll give myself 18,000 points. Uh, so now if we click to rebirth 5, we, that should put us at 12 rebirths and 1,003 gems i think don't know my maths is not bad it's a bit bad at the minute 1013 sorry and 12 rebirths there we go perfect so that is working now let's quickly test the prompting of the purchase of the game pass sorry so to do that first of all i'm going to make this background invisible uh hit test go to local server make sure this is on one player and hit start we covered this last episode um this will open up a server and a local client basically we're going to go via the client this client will have your avatar and everything but they will not own the game pass so i'm going to hit game passes uh, and hit this and do you want to buy two times rebirths yes and perfect so it works so that is it for the um two times rebirths game pass it's quite simple uh, so it's a bit more than the two times coins. I mean, of course, last video we actually had to write all the script. This one we're mainly copy and pasting it. But the fundamental idea of you're having to change two values instead of one, unless you're making a gem rebirth separately, um, it can be a bit more confusing. But really, it's not that difficult. Uh, next video, we're going to look at two times points. Now, that's going to be... It probably won't be too too bad. It'll basically be the exact same. There might be one or two changes. I'm not too sure yet. Uh, I think it will basically be the same though. So thank you for watching everybody. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.